In this video we'll show how the um, HTML editor has been enhanced if you have the optional uh, image upload and file upload feature packs installed on your machine. So you can see here we have a simple grid uh, that has a memo field. Uh, if we go here to live preview uh, we'll see the memo field over there and uh, if you look at the properties of this uh, memo field you can see that we've turned on the HTML editor and then because the uh, feature packs are installed there are two new properties here allow image upload and allow file upload uh, if you turn on allow image upload then you can specify the folder where the images are going to be uploaded if you just leave this blank then the images will be uploaded into the root folder of the application server so this prompt is for a relative folder name that's inside the um, application root and then the same thing that would be true here for the file upload uh, folder. Then if you turn them on you can see how you can go and you can customize the image upload dialog. You can specify uh, what uh, title and what prompt and what image to use uh, on, on the dialog itself. So let's go in ahead now and uh, take a look at, at how it works. So we'll go now to uh, live preview and then we'll click the uh, uh, icon over there, the, uh, the hyperlink over there to start editing in our editor. So um, I'll type in some text and now I'm ready to insert an image so I can click this new icon which shows on the toolbar uh, and this uh, icon of course will only show if you've turned on allow image upload so we'll go ahead now and click the icon which opens up the dialog and as I showed earlier you can customize all aspects of this dialog so I'll go now and uh, select an image and let's choose this image over there so now the image gets inserted into our uh, HTML memo I can uh, resize it if I want and then when I go ahead now and uh, save it uh, and then save the record the HTML memo now contains a reference uh, to the image and the image is a physical file now on the server in the uh, uh, folder that you specified in the upload folder. Now let's go back now and edit again and this time we'll choose uh, to insert a file. So I'm going to go ahead here and start editing again and I'll go here and I'll type in um, you can download the report if you want and now this time I'm going to click the uh, icon for upload a file and again this icon only appears if you've turned on the feature if you've enabled the feature pack if you've installed the feature pack so let's go ahead now and click the icon and then choose a file and I'm going to go and choose a PDF file. I'll go there and choose say the customer list and then save it and then again save the record now. So now uh, someone else who's viewing this uh, record could just simply put their mouse over the hyperlink and click on the hyperlink and then you can see now that the uh, browser opens up, downloads the file from the server and there's the PDF file that was uh, downloaded. So you could be uploading any type of file to the server here. You could be uploading PDF files, you could be uploading um, um, Excel files, Word documents, uh, AutoCAD uh, documents, etc. Any, any kind of document that you'd like the uh, user who is viewing this uh, record to be able to download. So it's, this is a great way for uh, sharing uh, files that are related to say Michael Graham over here and um, uh, and, uh, and you, you can easily then um, you know, put in hyperlinks to the files that you upload. Thank you very much.